In an ironic twist, Mike Pence, former governor of Indiana and now the vice president elect, uh, and of course I hate saying that every time, uh, well, he wants to hide his emails. He does not know, he does not want you to know what is in his emails. Now, according to The Hill, Mike Pence is heading to court in order to keep secret the contents of an email sent while he was serving as the governor of Indiana. Hmm, so what, uh, what, what's this whole email thing about? Well, apparently, uh, the email was sent between Pence's administration and a private law firm in regards to a state lawsuit against President Obama over immigration. Now, we know where Mike St uh, Pence stands on immigration. He is anti-immigrant. Obviously, he's on the Trump-Pence ticket, so, <laughs> I mean, you kind of know where he stands. He agrees a lot with Donald Trump at least on this issue. Now, uh, according to the Indianapolis Star, which originally reported the story, he said that this email is being sought by a prominent Democratic labor lawyer who says he wants to expose waste in the Republican administration, uh, specifically the Pence administration. So really, this issue and the reason that I'm against Mike Pence on this one is, well, number one, there's hypocrisy. Number two, there's transparency. We want transparency. Now, uh, uh, according to Jerry Lan uh, Lanoska, an Indiana University media pro uh, professor, he said it comes down to this. The court is giving up its ability to check another branch of government, and that should worry people. And see, that's where transparency comes into play. Uh, I am a big believer in government transparency. I want to know what they're doing. I want to know what they're saying which is why I covered WikiLeaks, which is why I covered DC leaks, which is why I cover uh, a lot of leaks and I protect whistleblowers. I'm hugely in favor of Chelsea Manning, uh, hugely in favor of uh, Edward Snowden. Now, as I said, transparency. Now, Paul Jefferson, a former professor of state uh, constitutional law at Indiana University, told the Indianapolis Star that a ruler ruling in favor of keeping the email private quote, would severely limit the access to Public Records Act. So there's there's these people coming out and saying, uh, hey, you should release the emails because they're, for one, they're on a public server. This is when you are serving as governor. This isn't a private server, and I'll get to that in a minute. This isn't private. This is government correspondence. You remember, you're suing the Obama administration over immigration, over some of the DACA uh, provisions. Well, we would like to know what's in that. What are you saying? Well, you know, uh, what, what is the whole purpose of emailing this law firm with your government account? Now, the hypocrisy angle is this. Simply, uh, during the campaign, you criticized Mike Pence, rightly so, Hillary Clinton for keeping a private email server. I mean, they're talking that the emails, the email deleted 30,000 emails from the private server. You're a criminal. You're a criminal, right? Well, well here's the thing, right? I'm not going to argue that whole part. But see, the reason that Hillary Clinton set up a private server is so that she could hide her emails. Because, look, using a public, i.e. government taxpayer server and email address, well, that ends up making your emails subject to Freedom of Information Act requests. That's why Hillary Clinton's like, transparency? I don't want no damn transparency. I'm going to make, I'm going to make my own server and it's going to have uh, blackjack and hookers. It's going to be fantastic. So I don't have to be transparent about my emails. I can delete the ones that I think that are personal because they're stored on my own personal server. Now, Mike Pence did not use that. So Mike Pence, he should be subject to a Freedom of Information Act request because we as the people, we have a right to know what you're saying because you work for us. Now, we don't want to know what's in your personal Yahoo email or your Hotmail account or whatever the hell, right? But we do need to know or we do want to know what's in your government email. So look, this is kind of ironic because here's Mike Pence saying, no, 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 uh, Hillary Clinton's emails, 
they should all be out. Let's let's go get them. Let's get them emails, Ren. And uh, when it comes to his own, no, 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 no. We should keep those private. And I'm gonna go to court so I can uh, keep that email private. Cause well, I don't like maybe maybe what it says is a, is a bad thing. Maybe maybe it doesn't look good. Maybe it does look fine. Maybe he just doesn't want that released. Well, fighting to keep it private makes it seem like there's something on there that you don't want people to know, which is weird. If you've got nothing to hide, then you should be like, okay, we'll release the email to you. But it makes me think that maybe he does have something to hide. So, <laughs> look, here's the thing. This is, this is pure hypocrisy. And it's against transparency, and it could set a bad precedent. Already Donald Trump, uh, their administration is setting bad precedents. When, uh, for example, when Donald Trump went to meet President Obama, they didn't invite the press. That's kind of a, that's unprecedented. That hasn't happened before. And uh, look, there are people that want to keep all of the press out of the White House that are banning like the Washington Post and the New York Times, you know, mainstream press from the White House because of how they were treated uh, by the press during the primary and during the general election. This is unprecedented restriction of access. This is unprecedented restriction of press freedom, which is protected. So, it, look, if you think Donald Trump is going to be uh, the Trump-Pence administration is going to be transparent. You got another thing coming, man. They're not going to be transparent. They're not going to be transparent whatsoever. And this already is starting to show what the Trump-Pence admi uh, Trump administration is going to look like. We're going to keep our documents secret, but that's okay. We're going to have access to yours. Because remember, Barack Obama set up an entire uh, system in which they could read and access your personal private information. The revelations by Edward Snowden, the different uh, programs like X Key Score uh, and others that basically are there vacuuming up your data so that these people in the government can read it. And now Donald Trump and Mike Pence are going to have access to your emails. But how dare we ask to look at Pence's email. The hypocrisy is stunning. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.